Hey YouTube, this is Everything Apple Pro, and today on March 9th, iOS 4.3 was released for the 4th and 3rd gen devices, as well as the initial release for the iPad 2. Now as you can see, I am on 4.3 right now, and I'm going to be doing a quick overview of this new firmware and what features are found inside. In this review, I'm going to be going over the newest and biggest features that I think are most important in the new 4.3 firmware. Now for all iPhone on AT&T users, you now have the ability to set up a personal hotspot out of course an extra charge, but the option is there. In the settings app, you now have location services right here right when you open up settings instead of being in general. And another cool thing is in messages, you now have the ability to set how much times you want your tone to play when you get a new text message. And actually for all iPhone users, your vibrate will go off twice when you get a new text message if it's on vibrate. I don't have an example for this one, but on all devices, AirPlay has been updated so you can use it in third-party applications, so it's not only limited to the iPod app, you can actually stream any content you want to your Apple TV. Another new feature in all devices is the new JavaScript Nitro Engine, which speeds up load times in Safari by a little bit, so it's noticeable, but not by that much. Just going to load up a page here and gadget and see how long it takes. Now this is the mobile and that was pretty fast. This is the mobile site, but I have really noticed that there is a difference in the loading times in Safari. This next feature, which Apple has just added, I've been wanting for a long time. So thank you, Apple, very much for updating it. Now you see when you're downloading an app and in the middle of it you decide you don't want it especially when it's over 500 megabytes and there's nothing you can do about it except keep downloading the app. Well now you can just select it and hit that little X and it's deleted. So that's a really great feature which Apple finally decided to add. The iPod Touch 4th Gen did get some exclusive features which were updated and one of those was the FaceTime icon and another was the ability to open up FaceTime from voice control. And there you go. So just a couple little updates here and there. Now it did get most of the general other updates which the other devices did get as well. Now we're back in the settings app and I don't have my baseband updated but the new baseband for the iPhone 4 is 4.10.01 and the new one for the iPhone 3GS is 5.16.00. So that's pretty much it for all other devices. Those were the main features which I decided to show. Of course, they are getting a lot of bug fixes and that's always good. Now I've managed to unlock some iPad abilities on my iPhone 4 with the help of a jailbreak. And I just wanna show you that the iPad did get an ability to set lock rotation or mute with the mute switch over here. So that's really great news for many of the iPad users that were getting pissed that they couldn't set their device in a lock in a locked state when they rotated it. Now Apple did introduce multitasking gestures as well in the new iPad firmware and they are pretty cool on a bigger screen and I have enabled them as well on my iPhone and I'll just show you them. I had a previous video with them as well so you just go to side to side with four fingers to go between your multitasking tray and you can bring up the tray with a four finger slide up and bring it down with four fingers down and then you can go home with five finger pinch like that so that's another new feature on the iPad now it is also getting photo booth but that's only for the iPad 2 with the cameras and that's it you can expect those new features in the new 4.3 firmware as always I would recommend against updating unless I release a video saying it is okay to do so or a new jailbreak and of course a way to preserve your baseband for the iPhone unlockers. So thanks for watching this video you guys, really hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.